Do you know what I mean when I say the assumption of positive intent? Hi, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist and a boundaries and consent educator. I use this concept a lot when I am engaging in the internet and also with clients or people in my life. And the premise of it is if there are multiple interpretations of what someone is saying or doing, it is beneficial to assume the most positive one and ask and find more information about it. Not only does this help us have compassion for the people in our lives and everyone we encounter by assuming they are doing the best they can, by assuming their intent is positive and then getting clarification, finding out more information to see if we're right, we are not only being kind to them, we're also creating a world, our perception of the world, that is filled with positive people and kindness. There is some nuance to this conversation, so check part two for that. In the last video, I just talked about the assumption of positive intent. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. By the way, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist and a boundaries and consent educator. What I don't want people to hear when I talk about the assumption of positive intent is that we are going to ignore red flags or not think critically about someone's behavior or not examine uh, toxicity or harmful actions and forego all that for positive intent. That is not what I'm saying. I'm also not mandating that every person does this in every interaction. What I am saying is that adopting the practice of assumed positive intent can be wildly beneficial for not only your health and well-being and mental state, but for others in the world around you as well. It can be such a powerful contribution to creating communities that are filled with more compassion, and by extension, a world that's filled with more compassion. In part three, I'll talk more about what it looks like to put this into practice. So what does it look like to assume positive intent? How do you put that into practice? Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist, boundaries and set educator, and this is part three of a video on assumed positive intent. It very often looks like asking questions. For example, say you haven't gotten a response from a text you sent someone. Now, you could assume that they're ghosting, and maybe they are. Or, or you could assume positive intent, and then ask about it. I might respond with something like this. Hey, I haven't heard back from you. I'm curious if text is still the best form of communication for you, or if you have capacity or interest to continue the conversation. Or perhaps you're having a conversation with someone, and they say something that feels really offensive to you and seems out of left field. You could assume they're just a jerk. Or you could say something like, I normally don't experience you to be an unkind person. That statement was really offensive to me. If that wasn't your intent, can you help me understand what you mean? Part of this practice requires us to be introspective and take a look at the assumptions we make about other people. Comment with what you think people assume about you.